Hey everyone, this is Tis Chunk at Tis Chunk TV. Um, back today with the 300 limited edition gift set, uh, the Comic Con exclusive edition, which was only available at the Comic Con convention in San Diego uh, back in 2007. Uh, before I start off, just you know, showing this, uh, I just want to give a shout out to my friend Hugo who helped me in getting this, who tipped me off that it was available on eBay. And secondly, just, you know, major, major shout out to Mad Puppet Death here on YouTube. Um, Lori, you're like the queen of awesomeness. Thank you so much for helping me buy this. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, let's get to it. Uh, first off, you'll notice that this is uh, not the typical gift set box uh, with the miniature helmet, uh, but rather an alternate box with some alternate artwork to it. And uh, as mentioned, this was only available at the Comic Con convention in San Diego. Uh, and uh, the DVD is the same as the two disc American version, um, but you know the box that is exclusive. Uh, it's limited to 4,000 copies and each of these boxes are numbered. So this is number 3,655 out of 4,000. Um, what else? Yeah, there's the bottom as well. Nothing too special. Uh, first up we got this strange little door, or what you want to call it, which opens up like this. And voila, a small miniature immortal mask. And uh, that's pretty much the main excitement of this set, definitely. I'm gonna show you that a bit closer up once I get to open this. Uh, there's a plastic protection between here, you know, so it's not totally open. Uh, there's the inside, and this, uh, this locks together with a small, small Velcro piece here. You can see, got a second one right there. Hardly see it, but you know, so. Uh, and you got the same thing down there. So, yeah. You'll hear this. So, and so. But now, opening this baby up, we got the top lid here, which is the typical and easily damaged uh, cardboard flap idea here, which I don't really like, but still. Okay. And then we got second flaps here, and inside we got the keep case edition. Here we go. Okay, so this is I don't know if this slip case was available on the standard American version, um, but I must say for a cardboard slip case, um, you know not too fancy but this is incredibly detailed I mean look at the wonderful embossing on that you can see it's just well can't really see it but it's, it's a very thick very nice embossing I love it and it's embossed all over 300 you know like the spear the helmet it's very nice actually there's the side and the back this is pretty much the same artwork as, you know, the keep case inside. I can just show you. It's just a duplicate of the cover inside, but still very nice. Has a cutout for the barcode. Yeah, that's kind of crappy, but I don't really care. And the discs are just the regular two disc version. Looks like that. Um, so, yeah. But now, for the Immortal Helmet, which I'm guessing most of you are interested in, there's actually quite a sturdy cardboard box in here. Um, this, which is quite nice, doesn't really damage too easily. And sort of like red coloring. I love the back here, which isn't really... You don't even see this, actually, uh, unless you take it out of the box, so... That's sort of sort of a shame, I guess, because it's a, it's a very nice box actually. Hmm. 
Uh, but the mask, I actually thought this was a tin mask. Uh, as you know, it's very small and it's actually just plastic. It was manufactured by NECA though, and you know, they make pretty cool stuff. Uh, can't really make out, but there's a small NECA sticker there. But yeah, so this is just plastic, it's not a tin as I actually thought. Um, but still a very nice little mask. And you notice that you can't really see, but there's a mold for the mask here. Sort of like an, just like a black head, so to speak. And there's no real, you know, the mask sits on here, but when this came in the mail, the mask had sort of come up and was rattling around, but so it doesn't sit on like 100% if you are to shake it a lot, but I think it's nice, it's an easy solution, looks good. I mean, could have been done a lot worse, I think. Hmm. But yeah, uh, I think that's it. Let's see if I can just get everything back where it was. There we go. So yeah, uh, last but not least I can mention uh, the numbering is a sticker. I don't know if you saw that earlier but sort of a small rectangular sticker. And also uh, this edition was never plastically sealed. I mean in like complete plastic wrapping. Uh, there was actually a plastic sticker. You can see some remnant of it here. Just a small round sticker. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, and I peeled this off directly when I got it. And it's, you know, it it got some of the finish off, so it's not really glossy there. But still, I mean, I think it's a very cool set. Uh, usually quite overpriced, so I was very happy to get this uh, at the bargain price that I did. So. But yeah, cool, cool edition, uh, quite limited and, you know, a rare find today. If you have any questions, feel free to PM or post comments. But that's it from me this time, and stay tuned for more stuff, because, well, I just know that you will. Bye-bye for now.